What's up, Code Ninjas? So today we're going to be talking about version control systems and specifically a program called Git. So why do you care about this? The number one reason you care is because it's going to allow you to save your code. If you've been working on a project for three months or three years, you'd never want to risk losing that code. And all it takes is uh, like a hard drive crashing or something like that, and then you've just lost your project. So that's a risk you really don't want to take. By using these version control systems, the idea of it is being able to share. So you're able to share it up to some server, some cloud somewhere, and then uh, you don't have to worry about losing it. And then a side benefit of that is a lot of these servers allow other people to view your code so you can share it like if you're doing an interview or something like that. The next reason, which is really good, is it's going to allow us to track history and changes to our code. So it works kind of like a permanent undo redo system. So for example, if you're working in Xcode or, or whatever, Android Studio, you just finished writing a bunch of code, like, like a class or something, and you realize that it's causing a bug in some other part of the code. But you're not really sure exactly what, what you changed. So of course, you can do Control Z, undo everything that you just did and get it into a working state again, and maybe rewrite that code. Well, version control allows you to do exactly that. But like I said, permanently. So you can go back three months in time or two years back and look exactly what the, the state of that code was and, and try to, whatever, find where some bug was introduced or just see what code you may have had back then. Uh, since it is gonna be shared up into a server or the cloud somewhere, uh, it also is gonna allow you to like work with other programmers. So as your team gets to be three or four people, like maybe you can, maybe you can just share that folder around and then you kind of merge all of your changes. If two people are working on files, you can merge things manually, but it starts to become a pain if you have 10 programmers or a hundred programmers. Uh, and you definitely don't want to be sharing that folder around and then copying it every single time. So by having it in a centralized place, you're easy, easy to collaborate with other programmers. Plus the tools will help you merge code better, but we'll learn about that later. Uh, the other thing that you're gonna start to care about most uh, once you get more ready for getting a job is jobs actually require this. So there's, there's, these days there's no job that doesn't ask for some kind of version control experience and specifically it's usually Git. Uh, so what, what is Git? Uh, it, like I said, it's just, it's the most popular version control system right now. Most companies are using it. Uh, it was the first one that has a branching system, even though a lot of them have that now. Uh, it's small and fast. So uh, downloading and sharing code, uploading code is all really, really fast. Plus it has this uh, extra kind of area, this staging area where you can kind of sort things out. And we're going to talk about all of that. Uh, again, why Git? Like I said, it's industry standard. More jobs are going to require Git than any other version control system. Uh, there's lots of free servers. So there's super popular ones like github.com, which is what we're going to uh, use in our example. But there's, there's other ones like Bitbucket or GitLab. Um, by using these free servers, it is really a great idea to share your code online. If you're not sure if you actually want to do this, I just I can't recommend it enough. Start, start putting your code up online. Like I said, you don't want to lose it, but also uh, you want to be able, you want to be able to keep it and share it if you're doing like a, an interview or something like that. And then exactly like I said, allows you to really easily collaborate on projects. So in the next video, we're actually going to uh, start, start writing, I guess, some, some commands and we're going to see what Git is really all about. See you then.